treat your spine to a Corrigo chair and change the way you sit for good. To ensure you get the most out of your product, please follow this short video, which will guide you through the many features included. Recommended by Harley Street physiotherapists, our chairs encourage good posture, undoing years of damage caused by sitting incorrectly, whilst allowing freedom of movement. Before setting up your diffusion chair, ensure that you are sat back in the seat rather than perching on the front. To begin, we will adjust the height of your seat. Use the lever under the chair to adjust the height. To lower, sit down and pull the lever up. To raise, stand up and pull the lever. Ensure that your hips are slightly above your knees and that both of your feet are flat on the floor. The next step is your seat depth. To adjust, push the lever under the right of your seat and slide the seat back and forth. Leave a two or three finger gap between your legs and the front of the seat. Now it's time to concentrate on your backrest. To adjust, simply slide the backrest upwards until it is supporting your lower back. If you need to lower the backrest, raise it to its highest setting to allow it to fall to its lowest point. Lift back up to place at your required height. At the correct height, the backrest will cradle your spine all the way up, encouraging an open-chested, upright posture and discouraging a slouch. Broader back chairs tend to push you forward into a slouch. If you feel that you require additional lumbar support, use the pump located behind the chair to inflate. To deflate, press the valve on the pump. Be sure not to over-inflate the lumbar support. The backrest angle can be adjusted by rotating the knob to unlock and leaning back until you reach a comfortable angle. Rotate the knob back to lock. If you prefer the backrest to move freely, leave the knob in the unlocked position. When using the free float option, you can adjust the tension to increase or decrease the amount of pressure needed to move the backrest. Pull the lever out and turn clockwise to increase the tension or anti-clockwise to decrease. Note that if you wish to reset the angle, the chair's anti-kick feature requires you to leave the knob in the unlocked position and lean back on the backrest to release it from its current position. Next, we'll adjust the armrests to suit your body. To adjust the height of the armrest, press the button under the outside of the armrest and adjust accordingly. The armrests can also be rotated and moved forward and back for your comfort. Your armrests should now be set correctly. Ensure that when relaxed, your arms are bent at 90 degrees at the elbow and that your shoulders are not hunched. The armrests should be in line with your desk. You may need to quickly alter the height of your chair in order to achieve this. Each of our chairs include a card to record your settings on. If you share your chair, you can easily revert back to your preferred settings. Bring your chair close into your desk. Your arm should be level with your keyboard and your eyes should be level with the top of your monitor. Your feet should be flat on the floor. You may need to adjust the height of your desk if you are able to do so, or alternatively, use products such as a footstool or screen raiser. Congratulations, your chair is now set up and your back is grateful.